What's up guys, it's your girl Mila B and welcome back to my channel. This is part two. If you've seen part one of why it's important to vote, then you know basically why it's important. And this video is giving you the reasonings on why it's important. And more specifically, what happened to me and my family. Okay, so my dad likes to cut the grass on Sundays at 10. And this has been going on for since before I moved. And my neighbor decides I want to have a problem with it. Now, 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning, my dad works Monday through Friday. That's a, de that's a decent time. The sun's not out. It's not beating bright or nothing like that. Well, on this particular Sunday, my neighbor decides to text my dad and basically ask him if he cannot cut the grass on Sunday at 10 and wait till 12, one o'clock because he wants it quiet. He's not even sleep, y'all. They're up. They're up. They're early morning risers. They're retired people, so they're up. And he just wants it quiet. <laughs> he just wants it to be quiet. And so my dad responded back with, I will do it when I can. My dad was done with the conversation. And don't worry guys, right here, you're seeing the screenshots, you're, you're, you're able to actually see and read the flow of this conversation. And then um, my neighbor responds back with, well, instead of riding your jet skis up and down the lake, that's when you should have cut your grass, which was on a Saturday, which means that the day, Saturday before Sunday, he was watching us. You can't tell us when to cut our grass and why are you watching us? My dad responded back with, now we have a problem. All right, that was the end of it, right? No, it wasn't. The next week, my dad decides to cut the grass at 10 o'clock again. And my neighbor calls our other neighbor. Now she's on the board of the community that I live in and basically is saying like, hey, this is what's going on. Now, my other neighbor calls my dad and I was listening to the conversation and she was basically saying that it's a neighbor to neighbor issue and that she can't do anything. Why are you calling the other neighbor? You are our neighbor. Walk over here and talk to my dad. Be a man, squash it, y'all are adults, it's petty. But no, no, you would have thought the neighbor on the board, you would have thought that was the end of it, right y'all? No. So I guess the community that I live in, they have a newsletter or some type of booklet or pamphlet or whatever they have that goes out to everyone in the community. They bought a full page ad and uh, half the page was them explaining how we need to respect each other as neighbors and uh, basically respect one another. So basically he was saying that my dad didn't need to cut the grass. And at this point, it's just gotten out of hand. Really, you bought a full page ad? He still has not come to our house to talk to my dad, to squash the drama. You have the issue, not us. We're not going to come to you, you need to come to us. Meanwhile, there is a small holiday happening around this time and my community likes to do a boat parade. And my dad said he did not enjoy himself as much as the normal parades because all these boats were supporting and putting out flags and had their boats decorated in Trump paraphernalia. And so my dad just said he just couldn't really enjoy it as much. So then me and him talked about it and I was like, well, you know, we support Black Lives Matter. Why don't we just get a flag, you know, just, just for us and to really put out what we support, you know? So we bought a Black Lives Matter flag and we stuck it across from our American flag so everyone can see this is just who we are. We're not rubbing it in anybody's faces. We're not targeting anybody. We're not doing any of that. 
this is just because we support the movement. We are fellow African American humans. Yes. Mind you, we've had our flag for almost a month now. Y'all, why did my neighbor buy a Trump flag, stick it on the side of their house, which is pointing in the direction of our house? Now, any which angle that you look, no one who is riding their boats by will be able to see their flag. Just us and anyone that comes into our house or steps into our house or goes in our backyard. So one, you are being very petty, vindictive, okay? And I don't have a problem if you're a Trump supporter. If you are, cool. It'd have been different if it was just a regular Trump flag. Then it just would have been like, all right, you're being childish. You're stooping really low. You really think this is about you when it really isn't. The parade had nothing to do with you. But because you feel like you're so important that we are still trying to do something to compete with you. Okay, cool. Whatever. You got it. You know. But y'all, this Trump flag has Trump holding a bazooka gun facing my house. I saw, I found it on Amazon. And to put out, just gonna put this out there. I went on Amazon. And if you go on Amazon and you just type in Trump flag, this flag is on page two. So out of all the other Trump flags, my neighbor had to get the one with the bazooka gun pointing at my house. Guys, this is why we have to vote. This is exactly why we have to vote. Like, the caucasity. I have a problem with that. I don't care if it, was, if it was just a normal Trump flag. Cool, whatever. You got it. But it's holding a gun, a bazooka gun, and you're pointing it at my house? Are you serious? And you're not man enough to come and talk to my father? You think you're that important to us? This is why we got to vote, y'all. Trump is giving these people a voice. He is giving these people a voice to do and say and think that no one's going to retaliate against them. You really went out of your way to call our neighbor, to put in an ad, and now because you think our flag is about you, you need to buy this particular flag to put pointing towards our house? Wow. Okay. At this point, it just it fuels me. And it frustrates me and it angers me that people are this ignorant. People are this small minded. It's like, are you serious? Really? So this is why it's so important to vote, guys. This is, this is exactly why it's so important to vote. We have a voice. We need to speak up. We have to get Trump out of presidency. Because it's people like this that basically proves my point on how I view him. People like that. It would have been one thing if they just had a Trump flag. Then I would have been like, okay. But when you get a Trump flag like that, and then you specifically point it towards my house, that's where I draw the line and that's where I have a problem. So, yes, if you never thought about voting, please let my story and what my family is going through with my ignorant-ass neighbors Please, please, please let this be a reason for you to at least look up and see if you're registered to vote. Or go ahead and take that time to register to vote. Okay? You see these stories happening to people all on Instagram, Facebook, on the news. But then when it actually something on a smaller level happens to you, this is a small level over some stupid grass. And it's just bringing out all of this. Y'all. I can only imagine something on a bigger scale. So please vote. Please exercise your right to vote. Please speak up if you don't know and you want to know where you can. There is the link in my description box. We have to use our voice. We have to vote. That is the first step. Vote. Vote, 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 vote. Let me get off of my soapbox. And I just had to express and put out there that I have physically and have witnessed a diehard Trump supporter. I have, I have witnessed how they can be and how they can act. And it's just crazy that 
we're in 2020 and our world is like this. It's very eye-opening. It's, it's wild. It's wild to think we've come so far, just have been pushed so far back. So yeah, with that being said, y'all need to do like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video.